Hi, welcome to Minnesota Music Mom. I'm Karen Davis. I'd like to play a song today out of a Lorenz Publishing subscription called The Organist, and this issue is January 1977. They also have subscriptions for piano. Now, I don't subscribe anymore. Um, my mom has subscribed for many, many years, but what they used to do, and I assume they still do it, is an issue would come out every two months. And also they would put the songs on the cover and then suggest which ones might be used for offertory, prelude, or postlude. So it's really handy because if you're looking for a postlude, let's say, you don't have to flip through the whole um, book. You can just look to see which songs uh, they're suggesting would be good for postlude. So that's real handy. The song I would like to play today is called Praise Ye the Father or March Romaine. It's arranged by Dorothy Wells. Three pages long, there's a repeat on the last page, and it's one flat. If you'd like to hear more songs that I've played out of the organist subscription, please check Minnesota Music Mom playlist area for the organist. And I'll also put a card on this video so that you can flip right to it. Now after the song, I would like to share an update on my weight. And I'm sure some of you are wondering, why do I want to know what your weight is? <laughs> well, on the last video, I had mentioned that um, years ago I had lost, well, several years ago, I had lost quite a bit of weight and then I gained it back. And one of my sons and uh, future daughter-in-law are getting married in September. I would really like to lose that weight again and I haven't been having much success. So I figure if I say it out publicly, maybe that will help me reach my goal. And maybe I've got some weight loss partners out there that um, this will help them as well. So this is Praise the Father, March Romaine, arranged by Dorothy Wells. So that was Praise You the Father, March Romaine by Dorothy Wells. Um, yeah, I had a couple trouble spots. Obviously, um, you probably heard it on the bottom of the second page. I just um, had some issues there on the last line of the second page. 
And then on the third page, you know, the first few times when I tried to do these takes, the run there, it, I, it was just fine. And then the more times I did it, the more it did not, <laughs> it did not work. But there's the, there's the third page. All right, and this again was out of the subscription, The Organist, issue January 1977 by Lorenz Publishing. And it was March, Romaine, Praise Ye the Father. All right, so to um, let you know, I weighed this morning for my weight, um, for my weight loss buddies out there. Uh, this the last Sunday, I weighed 196. Okay, um, I had said that when I hit 200, that was it. I was going to go on down. So last Sunday, it was 196. And then um, today I'm 193. Now, what I like to do, I used to weigh myself, if this helps anyone, I don't know. Um, I used to weigh myself once a week. But that would be disappointing to me because maybe I only lost one pound or two pounds, not knowing that throughout the week, maybe I actually lost four pounds, but then gained a couple back because if I weighed myself every Sunday, let's say maybe Saturday I ate a little too much and then, and then that affected the weight on Sunday. So what I do is I weigh myself every day. So what happened is last Sunday, it was 196. I went down, I jumped down to 194. Then I was 193, back up to 194, back down to 193, 192. I was 192. Um, I don't remember which day that was. Then I went back up to 193. So that, so today when I was 193, I'm like, okay, you know, um, I know that this week I was 192. That makes me very happy. Now, yesterday, my husband and I went to a movie last night and the theater has some awesome chicken quesadillas with bacon and salsa and it's like delicious. I got halfway through and, uh, and I could have quit. I really didn't need any more. I was, I was comfortable. I wasn't hungry anymore. I set it aside in the next chair that was empty to me, continued watching the movie. And I glance over at this chicken quesadilla sitting there. Uh, okay, I'll just have one more, just one more because there's four pieces. So I went ahead and had the third piece, set it aside. I set it aside in the chair again, finished, you know, continue watching the movie. And I'm like, it was just calling to me. Just, it was just calling to me. I had to eat that fourth one. So that's one reason. And then uh, we had a really good uh, dinner too. Now I want to say, I'm not starving myself. I'm not starving myself. I know this is a music channel and I'm going on about weight, but um, I, if I can help anybody out there, okay, because I know sometimes it's kind of hard to lose weight. So if I can help someone, hey, I'm more than happy to do that. Um, I'm not starving myself by any means. I'm just not over snacking, which I did before. So I would just shove food in my mouth without even thinking about it. And then after I, you know, ate it, it's like, why did I do that? Well, now I have a little more consciousness about it. It's like before I grab a donut, it's like, okay, do I really need this donut? Have I already had a donut today? Do I need the donut? Am I hungry? You know, um, why am I eating this? Am I just eating it because I'm frustrated? Am I eating it because I'm tired? You know, why? So I don't deprive myself. I have a frosted donut, you know, every now and then. I have cookies. I have snacks, but I don't do it in excess, all things in moderation. And then I cut down my portions for um, my meals. I, I just, I don't overeat. Whereas before, maybe I'd take two helpings. You know, I'd eat one helping. Oh boy, that was really good. That tasted really good. I think I'll have a second helping. And then I regret it because now I'm stuffed. Instead, I just take one helping and hey, wait a little while. And you know what? I really don't need another helping. And it's going to be left over in the fridge anyway, so I can have it tomorrow. You know, so why stuff myself now? So yeah, that's just uh, kind of what I'm doing. I have not started walking or exercising just yet, but, um, but that is in the plan also. All right, so today for communion service, there were two hymns. Um, they were both short. They both had four verses. We had quite a few people in church today. So what I did is um, I went down for first table, ran down first table. I played, my, my sister-in-law um, hit the start button on a recording that's on the piano here. And so then while I'm at the table, there's just, there's a song playing, piano music playing, so it's not completely silent. I came up here, sat at the organ, and then waited for that piano tune to stop playing, and then I started in with the first hymn. Played through the four verses. Uh, we got done with that one. First of all, I did, uh, because there were a lot of people, I knew I was going to run out of, I mean, I wasn't going to have enough songs to get to the end of communion. So what I did is I played through the whole, um, um, song, the first song for the introduction, played through the whole thing. Normally, maybe I just play a snippet, but this time I played through the whole thing. And then we sang all four verses. Then I softened up, went to the swell manual instead of the great, 
played the an, another whole verse softly, stopped, flipped to the second hymn, played through the whole song as introduction, and then I started playing, people started singing. Okay, that's where I lost track. It's like I thought I had played four verses when actually I think I only played three. And so then I thought I had played the fourth verse and uh, they were nowhere near done yet. I didn't have any, you know, extra ready. I thought to myself, okay, I could hop off the organ, go to the piano and play out of the Maranatha songbook, just flip through and play some songs until the communion is done. I could have done that. Um, otherwise there's another uh, book that um, I play um, every once in a while for, for filler. And I mentioned it before, um, liturgical year, the liturgical year. I'll go through, I plan to play some songs out of there uh, one of these times. Anyway, I could have done that, but I thought, well, I'm just going to play, I'm just going to play the song again. And because our congregation, when it, it realizes, our, our congregation realizes that when we get to the end of a communion hymn and, con and communion isn't done yet, well, then we'll just sing it again. Just start at verse one again. No big deal. Um, and they do it all the time. We do it all the time. So I thought, well, I'll do that. <laughs> but I lost track of the verses. So when I got done with verse three, I thought I was on verse four. So then I softened up and I went to the swell manual and I played the whole verse again, soft, and then I loudened up again. Well, then I realized people were singing the fourth verse. Well, then when I continued playing, I think they were kind of mixed up like, oh, are we, are we singing? Are we going back to first one or what? Because we just say, you know, I think they were kind of confused. I think some people kind of started to play verse one, but I, I'm not sure. Anyway, you know what? I just kept playing. <laughs> I'm like, I don't care. I don't care if anybody's singing. I don't care if they're not singing. I'm just going to play it. If they want to sing, they can sing. If they don't, they don't have to. So I just kept playing. I think I played through another loudly, you know, so people maybe could sing um, another three verses. I was probably playing to nobody. No, nobody. Maybe nobody was singing. Anyway. Um, it, it worked out okay. So then, then they kind of finished up with communion and I softened up and, and did another verse uh, quietly. But anyway, I, I hate that when I lose my place, especially on a communion song. Well, any hymn. But hey, yeah, I've done, that's happened to me before and I've had done videos on that where I've lost my place and I've just stopped. I've completely lost my place in the middle of a verse and just stopped playing. So they finished it off a cappella. But today I just, I lost my place. I lost my place. So, hey, like I've said, those things happen. You know, you just go with it. Don't let it bother you. Um, everything went fine. Nobody cared. So <laughs> it was fine. At least they had music through the whole thing. All right. Well, that's enough, uh, enough jabbering for me. So the song I played today was out of the organist subscription, Lorenz Publishing, issued January 1977. It's called Praise Ye the Father, March Romaine. Thanks for stopping by. I do appreciate you uh, visiting and all your comments. I do appreciate them all. I can't always um, reply to them immediately, but I do want to reply to all of them. So if I've missed any, I do apologize. And um, if you would like to be notified when I upload more videos, I try to do one a week, piano or organ. Uh, just hit the subscribe button and the bell. And if you like this uh, video, please click like. Thanks again. Catch you next time.